Hey guys, so for the discussion this week, we had to answer the two questions. And the first one had to deal with online courses and the advantages of them. I think the advantage of online courses is that it can offer students classes that are not available at their schools. And it also um, is very important in rural areas because a lot of the schools go from kindergarten to 12th grade and there's not a lot of courses that are offered because the schools are so small. And also that they can retake classes that they have failed or they missed or anything like that. Um, also, what is the challenge for teachers who teach online courses? The few challenges are that they have to figure out a proper way to create the course online so that their students are engaged and they understand the, what they are learning. Also, communication is also a very big thing for teachers trying to communicate with their students, especially when they never see them face to face. Also, they have to incorporate group work into their lesson plans and some teachers may have to change the lesson plans that they have already created in order to make it work online. The next question is, what is the challenge for students who take online courses? I feel like sometimes students, if they're not used to it, it can be very overwhelming. And also, it may they may have poor grades where they don't study enough on their own or they don't understand the material that's been given to them. Or also, um, I know like for me, sometimes I cannot get enough Wi-Fi to pull up the stuff online. So sometimes the proper software that they need to complete all of the assignment that some students just don't have that. And also I feel like this question is really important now because of COVID. There's a lot of students and a lot of teachers that are having to change the way that they teach and learn just to understand what they need in order for them to go back to school. The question number two is, the three C's are connectivity, communication, and collaboration. These three C's have been replaced by the three R's, but I feel like it's so important that students know the three C's because even a teacher probably focuses teaching around it and they don't really realize that that's what they're doing. Um, the three C's, what does it mean for teachers? I feel like the, that teachers should have workshops and leadership skill improvement. Um, I know like in FFA, I had a lot of workshops on the officer team. And I feel like if they do that with their administration and coworkers that they, and they focus their lesson plans around it, that their students will already embody what the three C's really mean. And for students, I think it increases their personal growth and adds to adds knowledge to their life skills because they'll connect with their peers, they'll communicate with their peers and their teachers, and then they'll collaborate, especially with group work, with other people in their class. Um, next, it says, how would you implement these in your own classroom? Personally, I really love group work. I love partners. I just feel like when you do your schoolwork, yes, there's a time that students need to be one-on-one -on -one and do their own work so you know what level that they're at. But I feel like I would use group work to connect my students with one another and have them have them collaborate on topics that are not just about what they're learning about in school and not just about what I'm teaching. And also, it would improve their communi communication skills with one another because a lot of students, especially in the younger ages, that is their only source of communication is the school. And... I feel like if they start younger, then by the time they get to high school or college level, that they will have good communication skills. And also in high school, you have the outside organizations, for example, FFA, that can help them with personal growth, communication, and stuff like that. Um, also, I would have them co collaborate because it would be the different learning styles of each child because no child is the same and the way they learn is not the same. But thank you and I hope you have a great day.